welcome to Anna, uh, who is now of UCL, which I'm sure you'll explain a bit more at the moment. Um, it's a pleasure to have you today. Uh, I suppose the best place to start, right, is introduce yourself, where you've been, your background, and, yeah. and how you got to where you are now. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Anna Maria Mandelari, and I work at University College London. Uh, I work in the IoT space, IoT privacy and security, since four years now. Uh, I originally from Italy, but I moved here in London in 2018, and I'm very excited to be here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really exciting to have you. So, what? So you've been in London for four, four years. You four said? years. Four and years. Before UCL, I was in Imperial College London. Okay, yeah. uh, and uh, assistant professor, I believe. So what? Yeah. What what what's you, what are you what are you doing at the moment? What's your lecturing? So uh, at Imperial, what we did, we built one of the most advanced IoT clusters in the world, where we basically bought uh, hundreds of IoT devices and consumer IoT devices, from smart speakers to cameras, nice. okay. even connected fridge. And then we started like to collect all the traffic these devices are exchanging over the internet and verify privacy and security threats. Yeah. And University College London, what I'm doing now, it's like shifting my research in uh, industrial IoT clusters. So right. everything that is uh, connected to 5G or use, for example, yeah. LoRa protocols. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So the big buzzwords are yes. banned in that. <laughs> um, okay, so obviously we're at the IoT Security Foundation of, um, conference. So what's your take on cybersecurity at the moment or security in the industry? What, what's, your, what's your personal thoughts on it? Yeah, so... Um, I think that we have a big problem because the IoT world is advancing so fast. Yeah. But like technology for protecting the users yeah. of uh, enterprises from security and privacy threats is not so fast. Yeah. So we need solutions um, at the edge. We need solution at the edge, and we need solution now. And yeah. it's not. Uh, it's very difficult because it's uh, a general problem. Uh, global problem and for uh, like contrasting this problem mm. we need like collaboration between uh, institutions standard organizations so internet yeah. standard organizations enterprises government yeah. regulations yeah. Uh, research so it's not an easy task yeah. my impression is that uh, we need to uh, accelerate a little bit the process accelerate a little bit yeah uh, do you see it as a tortoise and hair thing do you think it'll ever catch up or do you think because technology is always so far ahead? I think. Do you think it would? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's like uh, big corporations are really fast, like in mm. improving their technologies. So this is the problem. Like sometimes we lose, we lose the track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. Um, and so apart from obviously the speed the technology is moving yeah. and and the fact that the security can't catch up, what are some of the other challenges that you see? constantly or reoccurring so around. something that we really care uh, that i really care in my research is not only security but also privacy sometimes you okay. have yeah, security yeah, yeah. but you don't have privacy so these are big things that we think about connecting to connected devices yeah. so you have microphone in your home you have doorbells with cameras yeah. so these baby monitors this is a huge problem and uh, my impression is that the GDPR is not enough to contrast like the problem of privacy with these devices. Yeah. So we need tools. And this is what we are building at Imperial. We are doing this uh, uh, IUTRIM system. This is basically software that goes in the home router yeah. and can filter all the communication these devices are exchanging over the internet and help the users understanding what the devices are doing with their data and yeah. if there are security threats. For yeah, so is that kind of like linking to like cookies and things like that? And Something like that, but mostly internet traffic. So right, mostly okay. uh, like these devices, they don't, they don't, they don't have, they don't have a user, a user interface. Mm. So a baby monitor, they don't have a user interface. Yeah. That's... So the privacy and security is not transparent to the user. Yeah. Thanks to our tool, we can enable this transparency. Amazing. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. So, based on your passion, clearly about uh, the privacy and the security of things, what would advice would you give to people watching on on how to overcome or prevent certain different challenges? Yeah. Basically? So there are many things that can be done for consuming the consumer IoT uh, space for like standard users. For example, try. I know that it's difficult, but try to mute your smart speakers when you are not using it or. Uh, disconnect the television from the internet if they are not using uh, internet in the television, for example, or read carefully uh, the terms and conditions when you install a mm. new IoT devices and always opt out to third parties, for yeah. example, tracking and advertisement systems. So this is something that uh, 
um, user should, yeah. should, should do until uh, protection tools are available to them. Yeah. <laughs> so, my, so what, with the advice, I'm, straight away I'm thinking a lot of people who are watching this are going to be like, okay, so it's quite time consuming to then turn your what, Wi-Fi off the telly whenever you're not using it, et cetera, et cetera. So it'd be good to understand what's one of the main implications that could happen if you don't yeah. disconnect your telly, for instance. Yeah, exactly. It's not only that some companies in California or in China will have your data, but the problem is that more a long-term problem for privacy. So mm. things about, uh, for example, scandals of uh, uh, political influence mm. could be brought. So when these um, uh, big corporations have your data, uh, they can create a unique profile for you. And this can influence your choices now, but also the choices of your grandchildren. So it's yeah. something that you don't perceive now, but for sure we will have an impact for yeah. your futures. So this massive influence. It's wake up, isn't it? Like when you hear yeah. things like that, it's just like, yeah. blimey, yeah, that can wake, wake people up and we don't need any more political scandals in this country. That's a, that's a fact. <laughs> um, look, it's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. Um, it's a good insight. It's a different insight to what we've had as well today, which uh, is quite good because a lot of people just look at cybersecurity, internet devices, hacking them, but I think people do forget about yeah. the privacy and the implications of that. So, uh, amazing. Um, for the viewers' uh, interest, where can people find you? What's your social media tags, that sort of thing? Yeah, uh, in my webpage, anamandlari.com, you will have all the contacts, uh, my email, and like form for contact me. I'm also in Twitter and uh, LinkedIn. Yep. I'm very lucky because my name is unique. I'm the only one named in <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't come so up. So it's easy. Just type on Google, Anna yeah. Maria Mandolari, and you're done. Yeah, yeah no worries. Uh, pleasure. Thank you so Thank much. You glad, you, uh, glad to have you, and I hope yeah. you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thank Perfect. You. Thank you.